Hey Pisces, welcome to your December reading. This is your reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and or Rising. Uh, please do bear in mind that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with your situation. Uh, if you would like a personal reading, you can do so. Purchase it via my website. Okay, let's see here now. Pisces, I don't know why I just heard Virgo. So you might be dealing with a Virgo. So let's see here. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. What energy is Pisces bringing into the month of December? Six of Cups, okay, nostalgia, children, childhood friends, two of Cups, gorgeous, and the three of Swords, oh, Pisces, and you're running away, running, 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 running away. I didn't pull out the last card, but it's fine. Let's deal with this first, okay? So you are running away maybe from a, there could have been a new person that came in, okay? Scorpio, Cancer, maybe Libra. But I feel like an air sign broke your heart or a Scorpio broke your heart and somebody else came in and you're trying to run away from it. You're trying to run away from a connection because you are either not over the heartbreak and abandonment issues that they've planted in you. Or you're not ready here to trust anyone. Or you're not healed from the past. That's also the case. Let's see, we have five of cups. See, you're pushing love away, guys. Pisces, you guys are pushing love away. So you only have cups here. It's like... I know that you're my soulmate. I know that you're the person that I'm supposed to be with, but I can't have you in my life right now. I feel like you're trying to mend a broken heart, Pisces. Your own broken heart. And you're sending this person away, but they keep returning. They're not going anywhere. Just saying. What's the overall theme for Pisces? Ace of Pentacles. That's why. Okay, I feel like you guys... You're trying to get over whatever happened. You're trying to move on whatever from whatever was going on, right? It didn't work out with the person or somebody, you know, won the custody battle or um, it's like you thought they were your soulmate, but it turned out, no, it was just karma. Or, you know, whatever the scenario was, you expected more from it. And that's why you got disappointed. And now when you're getting over it and you know it's like you're healing your wounds they come back in and they pour some salt on it you know they're like you know but i want to be part of your life but you're like no i don't think so you know look at the five of cups lady she's pushing him away doesn't matter which gender you are someone's still not over whatever happened in the past okay now here we have the ace of pentacles as your overall theme that's awesome Okay, that's you guys being focused on money, being focused on stability, growing your pentacle, growing your tree of life, nurturing. You guys got golden opportunities in your hands. Maybe something to do with craftsmanship. We have the high priestess, see? Seeing right through the bullshit. Excuse my French. Now, see, with the High Priestess and the Six of Cups, your intuition is telling you don't go there. And you're listening to it. And that's why you're sending this person away. Your intuition is also telling you focus on the right things. Focus on stable things. Focus on things that are clear, that they don't make your heart and mind battle for what is going on and what is supposed to be going on. You know, the high priestess is for me also somebody who possesses infinite knowledge. So I'm telling you again with work, I feel like you guys got a lot of potential to finish something up with the education or to finish something up with work projects, but something major, maybe fashion design. If some of you are trying to pursue this career, I say go for it. Chase your childish dreams is what I'm hearing here with work. See, we have the Ace of Swords. This is beautiful. Pisces, you got the best reading so far. You know, there's no messing with you. You're clear about where you want to go, what you want to do. You don't want a relationship. You're healing yourself. You're growing yourself. 
into a better person, into a wiser person. Knight of Pentacles. And slowly but surely, you're moving on from a heartbreak, guys. This is amazing. Okay. It's like you've given up. You've given up on the soulmate love or you've given up on this person in particular because you know that whatever they offer it's always gonna be you know oh, a heartbreak hotel it's gonna be like constantly the same old same old it's like finally you learned your lesson but now you're going through this change okay you're going through the change of no longer looking at it as this is what i've lost but this is what i've learned okay I see somebody that's slowly but surely getting in your life. It could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They're coming in with a pentacle. Whoops. They're coming in with something genuine, okay, with love. With work, there's also a job offer that's coming in. Something is going to piss you off about it, though. Maybe the way it's presented or like the boss or like your coworkers, like something is just going to be like, Bleh. but I do see here that you should go for it with this Ace of Pentacles. Now let's see, Eight of Swords is your fear. Let's talk about that. That's my most interesting point. So you're afraid to let the butterfly out of, I don't know what this is. I, I would call it a prison, but this is like, Letting the butterfly out of the jar, meaning, you know, you're afraid to let your creativity out there. You're, you're afraid to put yourselves out there, you know, promote your business on Instagram. Maybe, you know, be more assertive at work, be more communicative with those around you. Also, maybe to be very direct with this person that you're trying to get rid of from the past. Others of you, you are afraid to get out of your house because you don't want to encounter this person that you're trying to break free from. Small number of you, you're afraid of prison or some sort of a rehabilitation or whatever. But it's just for a small number of you who have issues with alcoholism and drugs. There, there can be help around if you want it, okay? Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is most helpful. Wheel of Fortune is your outcome. This is amazing. Let me just see here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. So there's an intervention for somebody. Maybe this is somebody in your family, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Intervention for drugs, intervention for mental illness. Somebody's coming in to help. For the others of you with this wheel of fortune, this is this is stepping into the unknown with this devil here. Okay? Stepping into stepping out of your comfort zone into awesomeness. Money is getting better. Karma is shifting here. You're clearly distinguishing, okay, this is what I don't want. The past is what I no longer want. But with the devil here, let's see where the future takes me. Let's see where the present takes me. Now, be careful of a... I call this the writer, but this is like the creep. The biggest ultimate creep ever. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, younger, okay? This is somebody who's getting ready to write you off or who's ready to mind, mind whatever you're doing, maybe with work, like a secretary or like a, I would call it a Santa's little helper, but uh, that doesn't exist. So it's like a boss's helper, boss assistant, right? So this person is like, Oh, you think you can just show up here and do whatever, you know? You think you can show up here and, you know, show us all these ideas and demonstrate all of your potential? Well, I don't think so. So be careful of that person. But apart from that, I am seeing very good things happening in terms of, you know, mentally you're clearing rubbish out. You have job opportunities that they are coming in. Also, this past is going to stay in the past. I'm not worried. I feel like they're not going to be returning after the conversation happens, okay? Don't avoid people. Don't be afraid that you're going to bump into them because it's like it's life. You can't live your life like that, you know? 
And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. Bye.